Hello and welcome to Los Angeles, California. It's week number two in Division 1A college football. Jake Sorensen along with Jim Peppers. USC will be the home team. What are their keys for today's game? This team should capitalize on their running game today, Jake. They simply have their opponent outclassed, and they should use this to their advantage. Expect to see some big numbers in their rushing stats. Auburn is their opponent today. How do they stack up? Jake, you've got to feel sorry for the defense today as they're looking to get run over by the opposition. Boy, if they don't dig deep and pull out their A game, they're toast. Thanks for the insightful analysis, Jim. We're ready for the coin toss, so let's head down to the field. Tails. Tails, Tails is, called. is called. It is head. They USC has won the toss, but they elect to kick. Looks like a strategic gamble. Number four sets up and is ready to kick it away to start the game. Got his leg behind this one. Number 37 fields it in the end zone. The 20. Number 41 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. They've got the ball. Let's see if they can take care of business. First and ten. He's pressured. Throws. The pass is incomplete. Number one. Thought he had a good read, but he didn't count on such great zone coverage. Terrific coverage, Jim. It was only single zone, but it was effective. Yeah, give that defender a pat on the back. He did a great job. On the 25. The Tigers have three wideouts on the field. The 35, a gain of 15. Number 28 made a tremendous run here. The yards just keep coming. Finally, they bring him down. Fantastic effort, Jim. Mm -hmm. Ball at the 40-yard line. Number 28 will sit this play out. Number one from shotgun. He's pressured. Throws. A gain of 14. First down. Number 83 makes a great catch despite being in a zone that was more crowded than a bar on nickel beer night. Watch this one. How he reeled that in, I'll never understand. Why he got that pass, I'll never understand. There were three guys. Hey, remember when you were young enough to think that throwing into triple coverage was a good idea? <laughs> I do, almost. It's first and ten. Number 83 will sit this play out. Number one is back to throw again. Dumps it off. Incomplete. Boy, somebody wasn't where they were supposed to be. That pass was way off the radar screen. I know. What happened there? Some serious miscommunication, I'm thinking. Second and ten. Number one drops back. He's pressured. Bro, that will fall incomplete, and that's their second in a row. Number 80 got to the outside like he wanted, but then missed the catch and couldn't capitalize on it. Third and ten.
Number one will pass again. Throws middle. That's their third incompletion in a row, and they appear to be a little out of sync. Their passing game has been an unnatural disaster today. Number five takes position for his first punt of the game. Number 25 fields in deep. Number 26 makes the tackle on the return. Jake, first play of the drive. Let's see what they do. Ball on the 20. Number 27 makes the stop before he could get very far. That play was supposed to go off left guard, but he took it way, way left of that. Well, you're not going to pick up many yards when you're not following the blocking. Ball at the 22-yard line. The Trojans line up with their tight end right. Escapes out of the backfield. Number 21 went the stop after several on the play. Took the handoff and went right up center and picks up a few on second down. Three yards to go. It's third and about three. Number 22 is the lone setback. He's pressured. Bro, that'll bring up fourth down. Number five will punt it away after a three and out. Not a good punt. Number 37 gets it midfield. Number 30 doesn't let that return get far as he got there in a hurry and put the return man on the turf. They had him sewn up tight, almost allowing no time for a return. There's the hit. That's some heads-up coverage by the punt squad. Let's see if this offense can put something together after the defense handed them a three and out. It's first and ten. The Tigers line up with two wideouts. A loss of two. Jake, that was a textbook defensive play on how to stop the run. They caved the center of the line in and corralled the runner in so he had absolutely nowhere to go. Nice job. It's now second and 12. The Tigers. Tight end is lined up left side. Number one drops back. He's pressured. Tosses middle. That'll bring up third and long. Number one looked a little jumpy there and overthrew his receiver. He's having a rough go of it this quarter. He just needs to settle down and refocus, and the completions will come. Number one, he's back to throw again. Throws left. That'll bring up fourth and short. The D can breathe a small sigh of relief on that play, Jake. They gave up a pretty decent gain, but still managed to stop them short, and that will bring up fourth down. Number five is ready to punt after a quick three and out. Number 25 fields it. Number 26 makes the stop on the return. Let's see if they pull something aggressive out of their hats for the first play of this drive. Ball on the 22. The Trojans are in the shotgun. Number one from the gun, throws right. A gain of 16.
Number one is on fire today. He threw a terrific pass there, and we'll see this on the replay. There's the catch, and you'll notice there's two defenders out there, Jake. That's got to be at least a four on a one to five pass difficulty scale. Not an easy throw, even if you are accurate. Ball at the 37-yard line. Number 81 is to the left. Number 22 will run it. No gain on the play. Good job coming off the blocks by the defense. Well, they came through and stopped that run in its tracks. Second and 10. Number one fades back. He's pressured, sits in the pocket, keeps dropping back. Number 82 was the intended receiver, incomplete. Number one was fortunate there. He threw that one right into double coverage. He's lucky one of those guys didn't step in and pick it off. Third and 10. Number one will put it in the air again. He's pressured, throws, the pass falls incomplete. Number 82 was more right than right there, and the ball drifted to the left, and he missed it. I have no idea what you just said there, Jimmy. Number five will punt for the second time. It's away. Number 37 catches it. Number 28 makes a terrific tackle and holds the return man to a very small gain. Nice job. Whoa, oh, take a look at special teams coverage on the punt. Simply outstanding. He gets the ball and then boom, he's taken down before he could get anywhere. That's just fantastic coverage. He really didn't even have a chance at any kind of a return. <laughs> Time for the O to get to work. Let's check it out. First and ten. Number one steps back. He's pressured. Dumps it off. A gain of 14. They dump off over the middle. And complete it for a healthy gain. More importantly, however, they move the chains. Nice play. Ten yards to go. Ball on the 41. Number 32 is off the right tackle. Number 36 with the carry. Number 21 gets the tackle. Credit him with number three for the game. Draw play the right side just off the guard, but there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. Ball at the 41-yard line. Number one rolls out. Rolls right. Flag on the play. Let's get the call. Holding. Holding. Offense. Offense. Ten Number 61 penalty. obviously didn't have Repeat his man if he had to resort down. to offensive holding like that. Good call. It's second and 19. Number 61 gets set after committing the penalty. Number one will throw once again. Throws. That'll bring up third down. Number 82 makes the catch in what looked to be nearly impossible triple coverage. Let's watch that again. Somehow, this ball makes it into his hands and he locks on. He took an awful big risk throwing into that kind of coverage, Jim. I'd call it insane, Jake. They should consider themselves lucky that it didn't get picked off. Although I'm not discounting a great catch by the receiver. It's now third and six. It's the end of the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Oh. 
It's now third and six. Number 82 will sit this play out. Number one will put it up again. He pressure. Number 72 takes him down and will get credit for the sack. Number 72 takes him to school on that play. Actually, he buses them to another school district. Watch this replay right here. A perfect tackle just at the right time. Now, this is not the kind of yardage you want to be giving up on third down, Jim. Number five sets up for his third punt of the game. Nice punt. Number 25 has it. Number 26 will make the tackle on the return. This game can still go either way, and that's what makes this drive critical. They would love to put some points on the board here. First and ten. Number 22 with the cross, no gain on the play. Boy, the D played that one perfectly. They plugged up the middle and sealed the runner off before he could even get to the line of scrimmage. Excellent play. Ball on the 29. Number one from shotgun. Keeps dropping back. Throws. He's down close to the marker, and it looks like he just got enough for the first down. From the shotgun, they dump it out right. Ball at the 40-yard line. Number 81 is wide right. A gain of four. They run it around to the outside, and the defense isn't ready for it. It's now second and six. The Trojans line up with a split backfield. Number one drops back. He's pressured. Bro. The pass is incomplete. Number 81 couldn't get to it. Oh, the quarterback let him just a bit too much. That's a frustrating play. It's now third and six. The Trojans are in the I formation. Number 22 with the ball. He's taken down hard, but he's past the marker and will have a first down. Number 22 was on fire that play. He kept it floored all the way downfield and does not stop until finally they get a piece of it. Jim, what do you think of going back to him right away? Hey, why not? He just showed us what he can do. Ball on the 42. Number 22 lines up behind the quarterback. Number 67 breaks through and takes the runner down in the backfield for a small loss. Jake, that was a textbook defensive play on how to stop the run. They caved the center of the line in and corralled the runner in so he had absolutely nowhere to go. Nice job. Ball at the 45-yard line. Number one from the gun. Throws. The pass is no good. Incomplete. Number 81 didn't have a chance on that one. You make it very tough on your man when you throw it behind him like that. <laughs> well, I'm sure he didn't do it on purpose. His arm just needs a little tweaking. He's struggling. Let's see if he can find his mojo and get back on track. Number one will pass again. Number one rolls outside. Dumps it left. Fourth and long coming up. Number one thought his receiver had a fair shot at it, but the coverage was just too tight. You've got to admire a secondary that sticks with him that close. Number five sets up for his third punt of the game. Number 
37, gets it off the bounce. Number 30 makes a great special teams play and prevents that return from going anywhere. They had him sewn up tight, almost allowing no time for a return. There's the hit. That's some heads-up coverage by the punt squad. Boy, they'll start this one out in the hole. They just have to forget about the end zone behind them and start moving the football forward. Ball on the 11. Number one from shotgun. Tosses middle. Caught middle. 21 makes the tackle his fourth. Nice gain on first down. Well, I can't stress how big an advantage it is when you can get good positive yardage on first down. Second and less than a yard. Number 32 is off the left tackle. Number 33 makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. Oh, my. Nice play by the defense. They picked the runner up quickly and stopped him in his tracks. It's third and two. The Tigers line up with three wide outs. Number one from the gun. Number one on the rollout. Throws. It'll be fourth and short. Number one had trouble with that zone in permanent lockdown. Outstanding coverage. If he continues playing a one-man zone so well, that secondary can really topple this offensive game plan. You know, that's right. It basically erases that receiver off the blackboard totally. Number five will punt it away after a three and out. There's the punt. Number 25 makes the catch. Number 74 is finally able to force him out after a very nice return. If they can score on this drive before the half, it could put them in the lead, which is a big boost going into halftime. It's first and ten. No gain on the play. That was designed to go through the two gap, but he tried to venture out of his own and got nowhere. But you got to follow your blocking patterns. The Trojans line up with a single setback. Keeps dropping back. Bro. It'll be third and long. Someone must have got a hot tip on that one because they were ready for it and shut it down in a hurry. Nice stop. Third and 10. Jim, if they can get another 10 or 15 yards here, they can at least try for a field goal before the half. Number one, he's back to throw again. The pressure, number 70, crushes the quarterback for a loss and will get credit for the first sack of the game. It's fourth and 12, and they're going to go for it. Well, with time winding down, if they can just get a bit closer, they'd be in feasible field goal range before the half. Rose, number 27, made a drive-stopping tackle there, forcing the turnover on downs. Great job, and his offense heads on the field. Number 27 steps up and renders a big tackle. Let's see it again. Big time fourth down stop. Jim, they got stopped short. That's a tough call. What do you think? A tough call is right. I'm not totally against it, but I would have punted. We're getting down to the final seconds of the first half. Not much time to work with, but anything can happen. The clock is down to 18. Number one steps back. He's pressured. Short throw down the middle. He's tackled, and that's his second catch of the day. They dump off over the middle and complete it. But there was not a lot of room to work with. Maybe a couple there. Six yards to go. The good news is they're hitting the receivers. The bad news is they aren't hitting them very deep. It's the end of the first half, and it's still 0-0. Number two sets up and will kick it away to start the third quarter. Good kick here. Number 23 catches it deep. Number 35 with the tackle on the return man. 
Ball at the 19-yard line. I think I'm going to keep you here for a while. The Trojans have two receivers in. Number 22 will run it. Number 25 makes the hit. This was designed to go way out to the six gap. But he used those fancy feet to make his own route and get the yards. He has to be pleased with how that turned out. Ball on the 26. Number 22 is lined up behind the quarterback. He'll be third in inches. Only yielded a couple on that play, but they are very close to the first. Let's see if they can pick it up. One yard to go. Third and less than a yard. He's pressured. They got the first by a small margin. Good effort by the offense there. They read the defense perfectly there, skyrocketing up the middle to get the first down. They touched him, but they couldn't stop him. It's first and ten. The Trojans have their tight end to the right. Number 22 with the carry. Number 33 makes the hit and takes him down after a handful of yards. That play was drawn up to go out to the five gap, but it didn't pan out. He improvised a bit, took it left of that, and picked up the yards. It's second and five. Number 22 lines up behind the quarterback. Drops way back. Bro, number 24 was the intended receiver on that play, incomplete. Number one, obviously, thought throwing into double zone coverage was a calculated risk he felt comfortable with. Yeah, well, he better check his figures. To me, two guys in the zone equals a real problem. Yeah, I guess he's no accounting major, that's for sure. Number one will put it in the air again. Throws, the pass again falls incomplete. Two in a row. Number 31 managed to cut off the line from the QB to the receiver by putting his body in the path. That was crafty pass defense. There's no way the ball was getting to the receiver. Number five is back to take the snap for his fourth punt of the game. It's away. Number 37 fields it off the bounce. Number 25 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. This game is close with lots of time left, and you know they would love to lower the stress level by scoring on this drive. Ball at the 38-yard line. Number one drops back. He's pressured. Dumps it off. Hot middle. They made the tackle, but he was able to get his third reception of the game. Good yardage on first down, and that's always a good thing because it really opens up the playbook. Outstanding protection for this quarterback today. He's had plenty of time to sit back and pick and choose his targets at will. Number 80 lines up left. That'll bring up third and short. Number 75 delivers a key stop behind the line of scrimmage that stops this play. Cool. Let's go to the tape right there. A key stop. Yeah, and some death moves there as he made his way to the ball carry. It's third and about three. The Tigers line up with their tight end left. Fourth and short coming up. That play was designed to go through the one gap, but he took it way, way left of that. Well, you're not going to pick up many yards when you're not following the blocking. Number five comes into punt after a three and out. Good punt here. Number 25 will take it on the hop. 
Number 26 makes the tackle on the return. First down. Well, the defense did their job and forced a three and out. Now it's the offense's turn. Ball on the 30. The Trojans are in the shotgun. Number 22 on the draw. Number 20 nails him after a couple of yards. Carried this one away right and gets a few. Second down. Six yards. It's now second and six. Number one fades back. He's pressured, stays in the pocket. Tosses right. After the scramble, they throw it right side of the field and complete it to move the markers. Nice job. First and ten. Number 26 lines up off left tackle. Number one from shotgun. Keeps dropping back. He's pressured. Going long. The pass falls incomplete. Number one threw the ball out of bounds there, but why, I don't know. He wasn't being pressured at all. It's like he had somewhere else to be, so he just chucked it out of bounds to get it over with. Ball at the 41-yard line. Six came up with the stop, his fifth today. It's third and about three. Number 22 is lined up behind the quarterback, sits in the pocket. Throws, it's intercepted. Number 33 is brought down after making a fantastic play to intercept the pass. Number 33 did some skywalking to make this incredible catch. Let's take another look. Boy, he obviously wanted that interception pretty bad. Points scored off interceptions often win games. Let's see if this offense uses the opportunity to capitalize. Ball on the 48. Number one from the gun. Number one rolls out, spirals it middle. 20, a gain of 30. First down. Number 28 makes a crucial tackle here. I want to show you how he saves this play. You see, he had an open field to six points. No one to stop him. at the 18-yard line. Number 32 is off the left tackle. A gain of four. It's the end of the third quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Six yards to go. Now second and six. The Tigers line up in the eye. Lateral. Number 32 barges through and makes a nice tackle to force the loss. Boy, oh boy, the D stuffed that run up the middle where there was no way the ball was getting out of the backfield. Third and eight. Number one from shotgun. Spirals it right. Tip. A nice pickup on the third and long, and he gets the first down easily. First down. Number 80 makes a dilly of a grab there. Watch this, folks. A sweet catch and extremely difficult to make after that kind of tip. Well, it's all reflexes at that point. You just can't predict where a tip's going to go. Well, he'll get him. Well, he ought to hang a sign around his neck that says, Tipping Welcome. <laughs> first and goal. Number 80 is wide right. 
escapes a tackle and touchdown. Number 36 is in the end zone for the TD before the defense can react. There's the score. Nice play. Number two sets up the extra point. It's up. Two adds the extra point. Auburn puts up the first points of the game. They lead 7-0. Number two is back to kick it away. Good job on the kick. Number 23 fields it. Number 35 makes the stop on the return. Well, the last time they had it, they turned it over on the interception. Let's see if they can work the kinks out. First and ten. Number one from the gun. Throw. He's tackled, and that's his second catch of the day. He connects with his receiver with ease. He sees his man and then airs it out for the completion. Now, they're really in sync there, able to depend on each other as the play unfolds. Ball on the 44. Number 82 is to the left. Number 22 with the ball. Open field, wide right. Number 27 makes the tackle. Carry this one away right and get some decent yards on that first down play. Ball at the 47-yard line. Number 22 is to the right. Number 27 applies the brakes yet again. His sixth tackle. Third down. Seven yards to go. It's third and about seven. Number one drops back. He's pressured. It's loose. Auburn has it. The 25. The 10. And he scores. Number 21 goes all the way and makes what could be the play of the game today. Here's the replay. Just a fantastic job scooping up the loose ball and then all the way for the touchdown. He's really living the defensive dream here, Jim. I expect he'll have a heck of a nice pro career after he graduates, but he may never have a day quite like today. Number two lines up for the point after. It's away. It's no good off to the right. Auburn takes a two-score cushion, but anything can happen. They're up 13-0. Number two will kick this one away. It's away. Number 23 fields it deep. Number 26 will make the tackle on the return. Well, it's coming down to the end, and if they don't score here, they can kiss this one goodbye. Got to punch it into the end zone, boys. It's first and 10. The Trojans go with the I formation. Number 22 will run it. Room on the right side. That was a huge run. Give him the first down and look for that one on the highlight reel. Ball on the 42. Number 22 lines up behind the quarterback. Stays in the pocket. Tosses middle. Number 27 applies to stop it. His seventh tackle of the game. Scrambled out of the pocket, then they go to the middle of the field. It's now second and six. Number one will throw once again. 
Nice block. Keeps dropping back. Throws middle. It'll be third down. Number 26 couldn't make the catch. The ball just wasn't there for him. Yeah, it sailed quite a bit right. Was the throw off or was the receiver not where he should have been? Well, I'll tell you, on a bad team, the finger automatically comes out and points at each other. On a good team, they come out and point at themselves. The Trojans line up in shotgun formation. Throw. Big gainer on the third down play. They easily got the first and a bunch of yards on top of it. Ball at the 31 yard line. Number 81 lines up wide right. No gain on the play. Wow, the D closed that one down in a hurry. They got the penetration, closed the middle, and shut the ball carrier down for a loss. Super play. Ball on the 31. Number 22 with the ball again. Number 26 is all over the field today. He makes his eighth tackle. Third and 10. Number 22 will get the nod again. Open field, wide left. That'll bring up fourth and about a foot. Carried this one off his left guard. And he picks up a nice gain there, but did not make it across the line for the first down. Number 22 is lined up behind the quarterback. Big fourth down play, and they convert. Nice effort, and they'll get a new set of downs. The Trojans have a first down after the big fourth down conversion. Number one from the gun, throw. Incomplete. Number 81 can't be happy about not catching such a short pass. It was a little one, but he could have eaten up plenty more yardage if he just got his hands on it. Mm -hmm. The clock shows 149 left. Number one steps back. He's pressured, sits in the pocket, spirals at middle. Incomplete. Number one really underthrew that one. The receiver never had a chance at a reception. Third and ten. Number 22 gets the handoff. It'll be fourth down. The runner got a few there, but the D pulled it together and stopped him short to force the fourth down. Good perseverance. It will be a 32-yard attempt. USC exercises their first time out. It's fourth and six, and they're going to go for it. The Trojans will go with two wide receivers. Drops way back. Throws right, and he's in for the touchdown. Number one makes a solid pass to his man for the score. Let's watch that again. That's six points. The team may have been expecting the run there and weren't quite as vigilant as they should have been against the pass. Number four will line up for the point after. There's the kick. Four tacks on the extra point. USC climbs to within striking distance as they are now down by the score of 13-7. Number four lines up for the kickoff. Gets his foot into it, and this is a nice kickoff. Number 24 is backed all the way into his end zone for the catch. Number 30 with the tackle on the return man. First down. They allowed the touchdown, and now it's their turn to answer right back. Let's see if they can do it. A minute 24 seconds on the game clock. Gets upfield. 30, the 40. He's out of bounds and the clock will stop. It'll be a first down. First down. The Tigers, with a nice run on the last play, will have a first down.
Number 36 lines up behind the quarterback. He lateral. Number 41 takes him down quick. I don't think he got much, maybe a yard or two. That play was designed to go left of center, but he tried to go somewhere else, and look what happened. It's all about following your blockers. It's second and nine. He's pressured. Bro. Third and long coming up. Number 81 swung around to the outside, but unfortunately the pass was outside his hands. It's third and nine. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. Number 36 with the carry. That'll bring up fourth and short. Carry this one. Away right. And he did make some nice yards. He did not, however, get enough for the first and was stopped just short. USC will take a timeout, and that will be their second. The clock reads 46. Number five lines up, and this will be his sixth punt of the game. Number 42 downs the punt. Number 42 penalty. draws an obvious foul Repeat, for offensive holding. Down. Does this guy not realize that those guys in the black and white stripes are paid to watch for shenanigans oh, like that? Hello? Number five lines up, and this will be his sixth punt of the game. Number 25 catches it. Five, number 26 pushes him out of bounds after an excellent return and may have prevented him from going all the way for a touchdown. Heads up play. Critical drive here, Jake. Real. 27 seconds to go. The Trojans have their tight end to the left. Throws middle. Number 26 was the intended receiver, but the pass is off the mark and falls incomplete. Number 26 had his turf in the middle, but the pass just didn't come together. He really has to be the guy who his quarterback can rely on to make those. 24 seconds on the game clock. Number one will put it up again. Keeps dropping back. Bro. Penalty flag down. Let's find out what it's for. Pass interference. Defense. First Number 27 down, had his foul. hands all over that receiver. Boy, you'd think they were dating. I mean, you can't tell me he was trying to catch the football. That's pass interference. The Trojans will have the first down off the penalty. Number 27 gets set after committing the penalty. He's pressured. Spiral hit right. Incomplete pass. Number 26 was right where he was supposed to be near the sideline, but couldn't close the deal. Ball at the 48-yard line. Number one drops back. He's pressured. Throw. Caught on the wing. Number 26. Six continues to dominate, making his ninth tackle. USC takes their third and final timeout. I like that call. Really close the gap to the first down. Let's see what they do coming up. It's third and five. The Trojans are going with three wide receivers. Number one is back to throw again. Six nice. Number 67 runs him down and makes the tackle in the backfield for a loss. 